Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. We got a new streak. It's seven. <laughs> it's a start. What can I say? No lost. No lost. Oh, thank God. That was that was dangerously close. You might be saying, Northern Lion, if you don't like the lost, why don't you just like maybe rotate through every character? To which I reply. Well then, what would I what would I do about getting, you know, real platinum gone? You know, I gotta get all the lost items unlocked at some point. Plus, as if the lost wasn't high pressure enough, why don't we make a situation where in order to actually uh I was hoping that would be a bomb for obvious reasons. In order to actually keep my streak going, I have to never get hit and win. Wow, that is very good luck right off the bat. And our item room, it's good enough. You know what? Fuck me. I apologize even for the hesitation in saying that little gish was good enough. There was our seed, by the way, in case you didn't see it and you're wondering what's up. Um, little gish is more than good enough to go for the, the gold here. This is kind of what I was hoping for. We'll see if we get a black market or just a trip down to the next floor. It is a black market, so that's probably the most common way to find them. It's not really a black market. It's just, um, you know, a free item. But the free item here is Pyromaniac, which is, you know, I wouldn't say inarguably, but is arguably one of the best items in the game if you get a certain kind of run going. You know, it's very nice to be able to heal yourself with bombs, don't get me wrong. Uh, but in particular, if you get Bob's Brain, if you get BFF, if, or sorry, BBF. Let's see what we get here. Eh, not very useful, I'd say. Uh, or if you get uh, Ipecac or Epic Fetus. I don't know if Epic Fetus works, but I assume that it does. Or Doctor Fetus. This could be an item that basically makes it nearly impossible for you to actually take damage, which is pretty sweet. So a lot of people uh, are in love with Pyromaniac as an item. I don't know if I love it. You know, I haven't really found myself in a situation where I've been able to love it. That's probably what my problem with it is. It's not that it's bad, but rather I haven't found myself in, in one of those amazing situations that would make me be like, oh shit, Pyromaniac saved our run or gave us an absurdly good run. I'm gonna try to crack open some pots here and maybe get some cash. Yeah, that's enough to actually make our shop worthwhile. And we're, we basically, I mean, we don't have to use a reroll, but I'm gonna throw a pot or uh, throw some money down. Throw a bomb down here, jeez. If I could just learn how to speak, that would be nice. Uh, we could use a reroll. And theoretically, if there's a battery in there, we could reroll, buy something, and buy the battery if we just, you know, shoot some more poop or blow up some more pots. There's options, broken stopwatch. Uh, I think we want to go... There's options? There's options early is exceptional. Apart from that, though, we're going to be on our way. We got Pyromaniac, Little Gish, and HP upgrade, and there's options all on one floor. And... We never had to use our reroll to do it. I think that's probably hitting a little bit above our average, you know, our batting average, if you will. So, let's just be content with that and we'll move down to the next floor and we'll uh, temper our expectations. The most important thing, I love that there's a blood bank here, by the way. But the most important thing, if possible, is to avoid taking damage. At least until after we fought the boss and hopefully earned a deal with the devil. Now, the last run, it ended up being pretty strong, but it didn't get there until the chest, and it made for some, you know, harrowing moments as we waited to see if we would actually get to a position that would allow us to win the run. I, you know, I'm not going to be heartbroken if our streak ends at seven wins. You know, that's, it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. Uh, I would love to be able to get it at least into the double digits before we probably ran them the lost and are guaranteed a loss, but, um... I would be heartbroken if I didn't give myself the best chance possible to succeed. But, it, you know, I'm going to say it's a guarantee that we fight Monstro here, so let's do it. <laughs> well, sometimes, uh, you might be, Northern Lion, did you play this seed before? No. How would I, I ran into the seed when we started here. What do you think? I, I got the seed. There, that's the ultimate Binding of Isaac conspiracy, okay? Northern Lion starts his run, gets the seed, pauses his recording, goes to his other computer, Puts in the seed from the Binding of Isaac uh, episode that he's recording, plays it, figures out where all the good items are, and then continues. People sometimes do, like, that conspiracy theory is probably a little wild even for some people, but people sometimes do come up with those conspiracy theories, and I'm like, man, why do you think I would want to double my work? Uh, we'll take Jesus Juice. Also, if, uh, if I'm going out of my way to make myself seem like the best Binding of Isaac Rebirth player, I think we all gotta take some time and admit that I'm doing a piss-poor job of it, because my reputation is not being the best Binding of Isaac Rebirth player on Earth. As much as I might like it to be, you know, we, we got a, a long way to go before we start really 
dealing with even the the medium hitters, not even the heavy hitters. Even the medium hitters are way way ahead of me. Even the light hitters, the light as a feather, stiff as a board hitters, are better than me. So we're gonna we're gonna play a little bit here. Ah, okay. If nothing else. That, I'm glad I played it twice because we got the nickel out of it. If nothing else, we can reroll that. And let's be honest, uh, Kane's other eye is a terrible item. But, mm, oh, you know what? Okay, this is a little risky because I really can't afford to take damage here and ruin my whole run. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Don't, oh, God, it almost hit me. Oh, geez, that almost hit me too. Okay. But if we can just get down. How are we not getting killed here? I know that we have Pyromaniacs. So we can use it, but... Um, let's just stand right here with this bomb. Good, we got a bomb and a key out of it. That's actually really nice. We'll use our key to go to the shop, where we can always buy... You know, it's possible that if we go to our shop and our shop sucks, we can get a key, go to our item room, and then if the item room sucks, we can go back to our shop, buy a battery, and reroll it. So there is, you know, some value in there, for sure. Uh, let's, let's check this out, though. We can't buy a battery, but we can buy the Steam Sale. Now, was buying the Steam Sale the right decision? Now that I look at it, probably not. Might have been better off buying the key and then going to the shop, but let's see if we can still get our key. You know, we're still relatively quick here. Uh, we need like three more cents. It's not looking too likely. I think we should just go home. We might as well heal ourselves and try for the money here. Hey, it actually works. So yeah, now we'll get our key. And we've been able to make this work in a pretty nice fashion, which is surprising to me, but it, it's a comfortable run. We've got some pretty overpowered items. Oh, the key was only three cents, actually, a ding-dong. Uh, we, got, we got some pretty powerful items. Not overpowered, I would say, but, uh, you know, we have a deal with the devil. Maybe precedent set. Chocolate milk, I'll take it. Uh, it's good, and beyond being good, it's just so nice with, uh, with uh, Tammy's head. If Tammy's head showed up, I would be mm, over the moon right now. Or Isaac's Tears. Apparently, it's great with Isaac's Tears as well. We'll spend the last bit of every consumable that we have getting that spirit heart, and then we'll be on our way. This is my rare example of due diligence. And by putting in the extra effort on this floor uh, and, and taking a few risks, we actually did give ourselves a great uh, opportunity to pick up some stuff. So shops will be very accessible in the future due to the Steam sale. And um, there's options on the last floor. Big pickup for us. Maybe not exactly worth it to buy the battery, or sorry, to pick up the battery right away, but hey, that's where we are. Store credit, beautiful. Uh, that means our next shop is actually free, not even half price. And we're very lucky to have found our, I was going to call it our deal with the devil, which is, is true on a functional level, but it is a boss room as well. Um, we're very lucky to have found that right off the bat, because if I went on much longer, I may have had a chance to lose my spirit heart, but actually... We found ourselves in a pretty good position here. Let's go fight the boss. We've got our spirit heart ready. It's pestilence. Uh, so we don't have to choose cube of meat here if we want. You might be saying, well, didn't you want cubes of meat so that you had a chance to get your uh, unlock? Yes, but at the same time, it might be best for us to maybe just take items that give us a good chance of winning because there's no way we get to a fourth level meat boy unless I'm missing something. So we'll take Squeezy here for the extra Spirit Arts and the Tears upgrade that'll make Chocolate Milk a little faster to charge. And then we'll just get to uh, enjoying the rest of our floor. Plus, we look really cute. We look like a, a grunt from Halo. Don't tell me you don't see the comparison. For once, I'm actually proud of myself for coming up with that right off the bat. Alright, so we have uh, we have rerolls ready. Squeezy was not worth rerolling. We got it. At least try, right? Spirit Hearts. Hey, we got two Spirit Hearts back, so I don't feel as bad about this uh, play. Please, just like a single uh, a single key is so important because we can get into our shop. I believe store credit only allows us to... Well, I get store credit and credit card confused. Store credit might only allow us to pick up one item for free, or it might allow us to get everything in the shop for free. And if we can get everything in the shop for free, that would be awesome. Because we could get a key and actually make it into our item room and maybe get all the items in the shop as well. So, I mean, there's obvious value there. But it's not looking amazing for that, you know, theoretical possibility thus far. Master of Unlocking is really good, but we don't have any golden chests to, to use it on yet. Master of Unlocking makes it so that you don't have to use a key to open golden chests. There we go. We got our, we got our first key. This is important. One chocolate milk shot is enough to kill these guys. Hopefully that holds true for these assholes as well. Not quite. But we're closing in on the end. Ah, uh, that was bad damage. 
That's alright, I think we performed pretty well. Like, not only have we made some pretty good, like, tactical decisions, I think I'm just, like, dodging-wise, I think I played pretty well. Also, my voice is apparently cracking because I'm uh, 11 years old again. If you are 11, hey, you're gonna get through this, man. Don't worry about it, okay? I've been 11 years old, confused and weirded out before, it's okay. Maybe you're a really alpha male or alpha female 11 year old, I don't know. It's all good either way. Let's use a bomb here. Why am I talking about 11 year olds? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sometimes life just smiles upon you and it's looking like after that relatively difficult run last time, this run's shaping up pretty good. Uh, pretty good. So I think we might only be able to get one item for free. But it'll be the key. Yeah, everything else will be half price. So we could buy the pill or the spirit heart if we wanted to. But instead, we're going to use our uh, item room. Or we're going to use our key to get to the item room, I should say. And then we have a reroll ready if we want to. And we're actually making pretty good time in spite of the fact that we've been doing what I would consider to be due diligence. Hey, we got a health upgrade. Again, the luck is just kind of out of control right now. So we'll take spider bite, use it, even though it doesn't generate spiders. Then we will re-roll spider butt. It's not spider bite, it's spider butt. Flush is uh, is pretty good, but it's not what we need. I don't think there's another battery for sale, so we'll just end up leaving. You know what? Before we end up leaving, our luck is too good, and we also have pyromaniac. So why don't we try for another health upgrade pill? Ah, we got liberty cap. Is it better than swallowed penny? No, uh, not really. But liberty cap's pretty good. And I like it, it gives you a little bit of a weird effect sometimes, so let's roll with it. I think we're going to end up having to leave, but uh, still, very happy with this floor. There is no battery for sale. There is a pill. No, let's save our money, save our money, get something more valuable on the next floor. Good, good, good. I'm interested to know how your runs out there are going. My run is going uh, exquisitely right now. Should have shot some more poop for the chance to actually spawn in a, uh, an arcade on this floor, because if we got a, a blood bank... Especially if we took Swallowed Penny with us instead of Liberty Cap, we could have made some really good stuff happen. But uh, it's hard to get too bent out of shape about that considering the situation we find ourselves in right now. Which is very, very positive. Three cents away from being able to buy whatever item is in the shop. And uh, exactly where we need to be to buy or to pick up whatever's in our item room. One key away from being able to get whatever's in our shop is probably the way that we should actually approach that. Alright, well... This room is the test to see if we're doing uh, decent enough damage. It's either this or Mega Fatty. Uh, if, if the spiders overtake us, then we're not doing enough damage. But let's be honest, I think we're doing enough damage here. This is pretty good. And we won't have a reroll ready for our curse room. So I say we back off of our curse room for now. And we go back into the curse room when we have a reroll. Just in case, because uh, a classic situation on those curse rooms is you get two Guppy items. Like Guppy's paw shows up, you pick it up, and then you pick up... Uh, or you reroll it and pick up Guppy's tail or something like that. The Guppy items are oftentimes uh, pretty commonplace in those curse rooms. But for now, this run is very, uh, very casual, very comforting, very comfortable. Maybe not comforting based on some of the stuff I'm talking about. But at the same time, I'm uh, just trying to ensure that it continues to be that way. And the best way that we can do that, as always, uh, guarantee ourselves a deal with the devil on this floor. And it should be a nearly 100% chance as long as we don't take damage. Uh, on the boss fight. Red hard damage, specifically. Uh, we should also have a pretty good chance of a deal with the angel. Like, I, I don't know whether it's going to be devil or angel. I hope that it's devil, because you get a little bit more control over things there. Uh, but if it is a deal with the angel, we still have the opportunity, if necessary, to uh, reroll once. Let's see what our item room is. Miter. Miter is not worth rerolling, and also makes our angel rooms a little bit more likely to be better, because we won't be getting the miter. Not that the miter is bad. We'll reroll both of these. And we get, um... Remote detonator. Remote detonator is not very good, but it's good enough. Like, for seven cents for five bombs when we have Pyromaniac, it seemed like that was a pretty decent choice for us. So, I'm just gonna. I'm happy with this. I'm very happy we got the miter. Not that the miter's bad. I mentioned, like, oh, well, now we won't get miter from a deal with the angel. But that's. It's, it's a good thing to not get miter from a deal with the angel because we already have it. If it lowered our chance of getting the miter and we, uh, we didn't have the miter, that would probably be a bad thing. So I chose to go Flatworm instead of Liberty Cap. I'm still sussing out where I fall on these uh, these Worm Trinkets, but I do think Flatworm is the best. Yeah. Pulse Worm, a.k.a. Dubstep Worm, a.k.a. Wub Wub Worm. Uh, it can be okay if you have no other options. I don't have a reroll already. This was a dumb decision on my part. Should have gone back to, uh, and farmed up until I got a reroll. This is, in my defense, this is the first time all run, I think, uh, that we have actually not had a reroll ready for our boss room because we've been using it. 
I still don't know what's better from a DPS standpoint. Uh, tap shooting. If you have if you have the luxury of using either, I don't know what's better, tap shooting or charge shooting. But I'm gonna take the opportunity to do a little bit of both here, based on what my my hand tells me is is punishing or not punishing. But we should be able to get a deal with the devil. Please just be good, because I've forsaken my uh, ability to use my reroll to buy fucking remote detonator, which was not a very smart idea on my part. That's okay, though. We have there's options, so that saves us a reroll probably there. Uh, and we get magic scab for a luck upgrade in the HP. And Trinity Shield, which I would not have rerolled, so I don't feel bad about this. We may have a deal with the Angel Precedent. Now, that's really cool how we, our Trinity Shield is actually brown thanks to chocolate milk. Weird. Uh, honestly, I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor. You know, keep our boss rush chances alive. I want to see if there's options. If it works there, I don't think I've ever had it before in time. I might have. And uh, we have rerolls, so it gives us a very good chance. I know it's selfish because we have such a good run here. But man, I would just love like one item to carry us over the top. Not that we're in a bad position at all. You know, we've gotten some very good things in this run. And Trinity Shield for a lot of people is probably one of the best items in the game. It does make it very difficult to get hit. But um, my preference on these runs is always to take items that give us more damage. Over, if you have the choice, over items that give you the opportunity to take less damage. It depends, you know, I don't want to take Chemical Peel over Holy Mantle or anything like that. Is that it? One more. But, um, I would, you know, I'd rather have Mom's Knife than Trinity Shield, for example. You give me the sword or the shield, I would rather take the sword. No choice but to go to a big room here. Luckily, it's a fairly short one. Should be one more enemy. Uh, all the way over here, unfortunately. I would love to get a blood bank on the next floor. This, I mean, it could happen on this floor. It's just unlikely. That's enough money nearly to make our shop worthwhile. Let's see what we've got in our curse room. Much better chance of getting a deal with the devil as a result of that. We might have deal with the angel precedent, but I don't think deal with the angel precedent is like a binary either you're with us or you're against us thing like, um, eh, like the deal with the devil is. This is also a very good room for us. Uh, so, if we could get a deal with the devil, then deals with the angel for the rest of the game, that'd be fine. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? Free spirit heart is lovely. I would love to come back to this room with more keys, but hasn't happened yet. I have a feeling maybe we've got a good chance to find greed on this floor, so why don't we just take this opportunity to, uh, perhaps enter this room. Uh, that's Isaac's heart, isn't it? I can't take it. I'm sorry. We've had Isaac's heart before. I understand how it works and how it lets you, you know, makes you immune to damage that you personally take. I can't do it. It's such a cool looking item. But man. Also such a devastating item. We need to, if possible, kill these wall masters before worrying at all about these, uh, you know, TNT exploders here. I don't have a name for them and I felt inadequate because I knew that they were called wall masters, but these little green nubs, I got no idea. Uh, they're just not... The wall masters are just too dangerous for us and could, you know, erase a lot of our progress. But in any case, uh, I'm sorry I didn't take the heart. I know that's kind of a fan favorite item that a lot of people want to see. It's all right, you know. I've got to, I've got to protect the streak here. This is Necropolis one, right? Music's getting a little intense, yeah. So we're not sunk from a boss rush territory. We are a little slow. Not that we're not doing very much damage. More so that uh, the game is giving us some fairly difficult rooms to deal with here. Uh, but. I'm, I'm relatively content with where we're at, and I think we've got a very good chance long-term of pulling out a win here. That being said, one deal with the devil, man. One deal with the devil. Yeah, I was going to put a bomb there anyway. Uh, it would have been a bad decision, clearly, but hey. Deal with the devil on this floor. Mom's knife. Three guppy items. This is like a my version of a wet dream at this point in my life. I had a dream last night. It was a sex dream. Yeah? Who was it, man? Some kind of famous celebrity? Nah, dog. I fucked the Binding of Isaac. They gave me Mom's Knife and Guppy on the Devil Room. Whoa, dude! That's awesome. I wish I could have a dream like that. I don't know why everyone's talking like the stereotypical bad Keanu Reeves accent. Well, we our bomb got knocked all the way over there, I guess, and we ended up uh, picking up a delicious spirit heart that I didn't need because I was nearly at the full uh, HP cap anyway, but hey. What's going on? That is... Amazingly, I did not even take damage there until the very end. I was actually blocking the rocks with my shield. Now, I deserve no credit for that because I didn't even know what was happening. 
Oh, we didn't even get that earn that spirit heart that time. Um, yeah, like I had no idea what was happening, but just through basically random chance that worked out. That was that was awesome. I would like to try that, you know, with actual deliberateness in the future, if possible. See, our damage not amazing. We do get another deal with the angel. Honestly, I think we want speedball, but we could have rerolled them, I guess. But oh my god. Okay, Trinity Shield plus Holy Mantle. The game is getting to the point where it's being a little bit too kind. But I still would love to pick up some damage upgrades, as much as that makes me sound like I'm completely ungrateful right now. We totally could have used our reroll on the boss room. Uh, I'm still getting used to reroll meta because I haven't spent as much time with the D6 as I did in vanilla. But, uh, you know, speedball's not bad, necessarily. We gotta take BFF. It's a must-take item, according to according to Twitch, anyway. It's gonna be extremely unlikely that we get to the boss rush room, but it is a theoretical possibility. And if we can do it, I do think our choice of four or even eight items is uh, a better option than going to our item room and our shop. If we can do both, it would be awesome to do both. But I think the boss room is or boss rush room is more valuable if you can swing it. Now, you know what would really make this run tick? Ball of Bandages. I really wish that we'd kind of gone with Ball of Bandages. Because now, we have BFF, Ball of Bandages would be bigger. We have Holy Mantle and Trinity Shield, so Ball of Bandages would have a lot of opportunities to work well for us offensively. So I feel like kind of an asshole that I got rid of Ball of Bandages, or I chose not to take Ball of Bandages. And turns out that probably would have been a pretty solid decision. That's okay, though. We should get uh, some kind of special deal on this floor. You would expect that it would be likely. Um... It's looking a little bit less likely that our boss rush is going to happen. I know I keep harping on that, but we can go to our curse room for free. Maybe get a deal with the devil item or uh, re-roll into a deal with the devil item from there. Put a bomb down quickly. We do have Pyromaniac still. That's pretty ridiculous. I'll admit, you know, the game has been good to us. we got to get through these rooms quickly if we're going to have any chance. I think, you know, we're going to be relatively slow on the mom fight. Unless we pick up Sacrificial Dagger from our item room or something like that. So, we're going to be looking at maybe like a... Uh, like a 1934, 1945 or something like that. You know, a neutral milk hotel amount of, uh, of time in order to kill our boss effectively. It's going to have to happen pretty soon. We're going to go to our item room because our item room, in this case, we're in desperate times. It could actually speed us up, strangely enough. Please die. Thank you. Scapular. We'll take it. Uh, we're going to take it, I should say, because it's going to give us the, a pretty good opportunity to basically only have... Holy Water and Sacred Heart left in our Angel Room rotation. We've gotten a lot of Angel Room items in non-Angel Room situations. Oh man, this is it's looking a little tight here. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. These guys are just tanking a little bit too much damage. Come on, come on. Oh, they're right there! Oh, it's going to be so difficult to do this in the amount of time that we need to do it in. You know what, we're still going to leave though. We've been making good time. I've earned it. Let's take a little vacation by leaving this floor quickly. I feel bad, but at the same time, man. We were just like a few seconds too short. That hurts. Justice card. That's pretty good. Uh, Holy Mantle has popped, so, you know, all damage that we take from this point on is a little bit more dangerous for us. Because it actually works. We can take this off the screen. It's unfortunate I would have loved to have gotten a little bit of... Uh, the advantage there from the boss rush room. You know, again, I, I really feel like we're one offensive item away from having a truly spectacular run. This run's already spectacular in its own amazing defensive way. Free ability to fly, free holy mantle, free miter, free trinity shield. That's You can never ask for a run that's defensively better than that unless you also got like Dark Bum and Gimpy. And, I, I, so there are some items you could still ask for, but not many. Pyromaniac, also a great defensive item, but... Offensively, we pretty much just have uh, chocolate milk, which is not bad, but work with me a little bit. Help me get like a, like a chocolate milk cricket's body or something like that, you know? We spent like almost a minute on this one, so we were not even as close to getting to the boss rush room as I thought, which in a way is comforting. You know what would be a nice pickup here? A nice, like fairly common pickup? Any form of piercing shots. No deal with the devil. Uh, we probably don't want to reroll those, huh? We'll head down to the next floor. It's been good. This should be a very easy win. Especially considering Pyromaniac and the amount of red hearts we have. It's pretty unlikely that we, uh, that we find ourselves dead. Espe and then, you know, Holy Mantle Trinity Shield along with that. And then our, you know, fairly absurd amount of HP. And then, of course, the Miter. Uh, so, yeah. The death is not 
unfathomable, but is unlikely. Let's put it that way. Apologies if you can hear the, you know, tick attack that goes my keyboard here. It is a mechanical keyboard, makes a little bit of noise, and with chocolate milk, I think that has a tendency to make it a little bit worse because you are tapping the crap out of it when you're close to these enemies. You just gotta tap, tap, tap it in. It might be a little bit better if we weren't fighting three particularly tanky enemies, or it might be a little bit better if we could maybe get a sacred heart, dare I say. But I don't want to count my chickens yet because there are a lot of angel items still left in the rotation. Just off the top of my head, we could still get the relic. We can still get Sacred Heart. We can still get Holy Grail. We can still get the Halo. Some of these I wouldn't mind, obviously. Um, we can still get Holy Water, which I didn't even want to mention, dare I, or lest I, you know, actually cause it to show up just by invoking its name. Not too worried about that pill, even if it is a health upgrade. Mostly, the only thing that matters to me on this run right now is trying to get a slight damage upgrade. My, what is my ideal? If I could bend the world to my will, lucid dreaming, Tom Cruise, Vanilla Sky style, spoilers, <laughs> you know, it's a little old. Um, what would I, what would I do? Fight a boss, um, you know, I don't think we can fight the Fallen. If we could fight the Fallen, that might change things, I might choose the Fallen. Um, let's say we fight X boss, whatever, doesn't matter. Easy boss, Blast Assist, Skull X. Then, we get the Halo for fighting the boss. Then, Realistically, we get a deal with the angel. Deal with the angel gives us uh, scapular, not scapular. We already own scapular. Sacred heart. As a result of our items, we go on to win the game quite easily. The end. What what is the worst case scenario that happens? Uh, we fight conquest. We'd still probably get a good option or a good item out of it, thanks to there's options and worst case scenario our reroll. Then we get a deal with the angel that has two eternal hearts on it. Or we don't get a deal with the angel at all, but... A deal with the angel that has two eternal hearts on it is also pretty bad. Uh, you know what we should have maybe been doing is, uh... Killing the angel statue and then re-rolling the keys. Like, we don't have to fight Mega Satan, although we could. Uh, but, uh... Rerolling the keys, maybe. I don't know if the keys actually re-roll. Maybe we'll take that opportunity to find out here. So, Mama Gertie, uh, you know, the first part of our prophecy is still totally fine here. Mama Gertie is not so bad. Just to relax my wrist a little bit here, I'm gonna charge up some shots. There we go, we'll go back to tap shooting a little bit. I mean, I could use bombs, but, uh, you know, I wanna save those bombs just on the off chance we end up needing those to actually keep us alive. This Pyromaniac, you know, it, it's still... It's still there. As of right now, it's been kinda latent, you know, we really haven't had the opportunity to use it as much as... You, we might have to in the late game. No special deal, we do get the Pentagram. I think the pentagram is better than, uh, is better than the uh, Cat of Nine Tails, but that might just be old vanilla prejudice rearing its ugly head, you know? It's possible that maybe, uh, maybe Cat of Nine Tails actually is numerically a better damage upgrade. Is that true? I don't know. We did lose Holy Mantle right there, that's okay. Yes, uh, yes, and, uh, okay, and not good. <laughs> we don't need the spirit arts. So that whole endeavor, I was just hoping to get like Guppy's head. Nope, no such luck. All right, holy mantles popped. Enough fucking around then. Like even the Diglets don't die in one hit, even after our pickup of uh, of the pentagram. It's a little disappointing. You got to admit. You'd expect us to be a little bit more, you know, potent than that offensively, given our situation. Do it. Pop up. I dare you, motherfucker. You did. Okay. So we have to we have to recognize at this point that our chances of getting a high damage item are borderline nil until the chest. Are we gonna make it to the chest? Dude, we might make it to the chest without getting damaged. I if I had to if I was a betting man, I would say that we probably would take damage. Isaac or uh, mom's hearts. You know, they're longer fights, especially because we're not doing very much damage, which is why I want to do more damage. Even like a sacrificial dag dagger. Sacrificial daglish. Sacrificial Danish, more like. I would love it. Not a Danish individual, that would be a Dane. Uh, rather, a sacrificial uh, breakfast pastry. Sign me up. Seriously, though. 
a single orbital combined with Holy Mantle and Treasure or Trinity Shield would be so good. But at this point, I'm not complaining because our run is bad. I'm complaining because it's taken a long time to do anything. So I recognize that a lot of my concerns are probably falling on death, death ears. Jeez, that's something completely different. Probably falling on uh, deaf ears here because I'm doing so well on like not not from a gameplay standpoint, but from a great item generation standpoint. That um, you know, people are probably like Northern Lion, shut the fuck up, just do the run. All right, I'll shut the fuck up and do the run. That's fine. That's justifiable. I can understand why you would uh, why you would complain about that. It must be. Annoying uh, watching someone who's having a very good run complain about how their run could be better. I don't care about that. Ah, you know what? We, we will take that Eternal Heart. Because with Pyromaniac, we could use that to get to a higher level of HP than if we were using just our, um, uh, just like the Miter and, you know, Spirit Heart generation. Alright, Gish, this is your time to shine. I'm gonna tab shoot. I want you to make sure that, uh, Mom's Heart is kept fairly consistently slowed. It is worth noting that, um, I can't believe I didn't take damage there. It is worth noting that um, there will be uh, some status effect immunity from Mom. You know, with Trinity Shield, I'm pretty sure that we can just stand here, actually. I don't even need to dodge. And uh, we'll be immune to these bullets that are coming in. Yes, yeah, socket to me, baby! We won't be immune to the, the brimstone laser, but we'll be immune to the, the actual bullets. So I'll, I'll tap shoot my troubles away here. You gotta move, though. Alright. I don't think Holy Mantle's even popped yet. This has actually been a surprisingly easy boss fight here. Not that Mom's Heart is ever that difficult. Apparently that's become my new form of commentary. Not that, not that, not that, not that. Okay. Let's try Let's try something funky. Let's do it, baby! Unfortunately, your uh, laser beam attack is not going to be uh, blockable by Trinity Shield, but your bullets will be. And uh, Holy Mantle does a pretty good job of blocking things regardless. We're doing a decent amount of damage. I don't know if we can even re-roll the key. You might just be wanting me to take the key at this point and give Mega Satan a try, but we're not going to be able to get a second part of the key, so the only way we're going to be able to do that anyway is via Dad's key. We got the Bible. You know what? I'm actually happy with this, because then if we get another deal with the Angel with a Joker card or something, at least we can't get the Bible. So, we'll head up to the next floor. Hoping against hope that maybe one of the keys that we have can be used to open a golden chest and give us a small <laughs> damage upgrade. Because this, I mean, we're not doing absolutely awful damage, but it would be nicer to do more. Please. Like, a, we're going to have to fight double Monstro 2s pretty soon. I'm asking not for the run's safety, but for my own sanity. If you could perhaps find it in your heart to give me a single... Extra damage upgrade. You might sound like a broken record, Northern Line. Why don't you talk about something else? This is the only thing on my mind right now. My mind is 100% dedicated to complaining about getting no damage upgrades. Well, not many damage upgrades semi recently. Please, video game, work with me. We've made some good decisions in this run. I think our best decision was just not taking Isaac's heart because it fucks up the dodge game. I'm not saying we need a mom's knife. But like, uh, 2020? I know 2020 is like probably a top 10 item in the games. It's selfish to ask for. What about Proptosis? That's up there too. Man, we got hit? It's actually like, I don't mean to brag. It's a little bit surprising. Trinity Shield plus um, Holy Mantle makes it so that it's pretty unlikely that we take damage. So it's, it's a little bit of a rarity when it happens. Our rooms are taking real long though. Too bad you can't hurt yourself with your bombs. I guess that makes two of us, though. We'll just keep this up here. Seriously, nearsighted friend, am I missing something? Are you actually good, but I, nobody knows? Can I be the first to appreciate you? Look, it's kind of tempting to go to that room with the red chest and the golden chest, but at the same time, it's totally not, because if I have to fight three waves of bosses, it's going to take 20 years. So the odds of it being good exist. The odds of me being disappointed are probably higher. Somewhat disappointingly, it's going to take us more than one full charge plus the tap shoots after in order to actually uh, kill one of these assholes. It's very disappointing for me. We got to be like having a couple of them pretty close to death. <clears throat> I think. Oh my god. I actually took some damage. And at this point, you know, 
sure, there's Samson's Lock, but Samson's Lock... I think it works the way that Rage does in this game, which means we only get damage bonuses when we take damage. But, to be honest with you, maybe that's exactly what we need. And then, on the next floor, let's not do it on this floor, on the next floor, we can just let enemies hurt us over and over and over to get the maximum damage bonus. Now, if it doesn't work that way, I'll feel pretty dumb. But if it doesn't work that way, we're probably still going to win the run. This is, again, just a play to improve my own sanity a little bit. Steam sale? Why did I pick it up? I even as it, I was, you know what, my brain was too busy trying to think of a joke. Like, oh, you shouldn't have. Thanks for Steam Sale. Wow, game, you're being too kind. And I could have just re-rolled it. But, I mean, we would have missed out on the re-roll immediately on our chest. So there's a way to spin it so it wasn't a terrible decision, but it was a terrible decision. Anyway, having re-rolls on the chest is what gives me some hope here. Hagala's rune. That's not really worth that much, but it's probably better than a magician card right now. So with Trinity Shield again, I'm pretty much just going to tap, tap, tap this bad boy in. We only really have to worry about purple shots. Uh, I think our shield will protect us from everything else. Except the beams of light that will show up eventually. But uh, until then, you know, just enjoy this. And if you thought I was um, just being over dramatic when I was complaining about our damage upgrades, you're probably realizing that uh, I never kid. We are almost halfway through the fight here. We might be able to get hit by some of these shots. But we still haven't had, even had Holy Mantle pop yet. You know what? Let's get ready. Yeah, there goes Holy Mantle. I was going to say let's make a move, but I was a little bit slow on the uptake there. That's all right. Keep tapping these shots in here. Really wish that I had uh, been able to kill these guys first. We can still put up a diagonal shield, though. Now, okay. Step one. Kill these guys. They're not coming back. All right. Then we go to town on Isaac. And it's going to be a slow one, you know, pack a lunch, that's all I'd say about this. Should not have stood there, but we might be getting a small damage bonus. It's a good way to test and see if Samson's Lock is actually working out for us. I don't know, it might be, it's kind of hard to tell. For now, I am loving Trinity Shield against these bullet hell type enemies, it makes life pretty easy. Let's just get in there. Yeah, go ahead, man. Shoot some bullets right effing at me, I don't care. I think we might be doing a little bit more damage as a result of Samson's Lock. But again, it's the kind of thing that's difficult to tell. But if it makes me feel like I'm doing more damage, that's actually good for my morale, which is good for the run in general, I think. It's definitely, a, I wouldn't say it's a war of attrition, because, you know, we have nearly unlimited resources compared to our enemy. But it, it's a long battle. It's not even a Pyrrhic victory, you know? There's no, no clever historical words we can use here that really make this uh, more dramatic than it has to be. You should be dead, like, right now. We're back to full HP, and we're down to the next floor, please God. It's still been a relatively quick run, but the damage that we're doing is a little poor. Okay, big fan. D20. Scorpio. Virgo. Oh, I should not have taken Virgo. I think we get the Celtic Cross effect here. Big fan is an orbital, which makes it good enough. Now, if we're very quick, we can use Anarchist Cookbook, followed by the D20, I tried to use it, but it didn't re-roll them. Okay, so then we're going to re-roll these two. And <laughs> you guys want to? Sure. There you go. Soy milk, chocolate milk. Let's do this shit. Soy milk just completely covers up chocolate milk. It just doesn't make it work anymore. So our damage is going to be shit. But at the same time, Trinity Shield, Big Fan. Basically, I'm using Big Fan as, as another Trinity Shield. I'm going to be walking my way in here. And if only we can get Libra. If we can get Libra, our damage will be through the roof. I may have just fucked myself, but I don't think I did. And with Samson's Lock, again, I believe we're getting damage bonuses every time. Every time we get hit. So at this point, I've just... Basically, here's the position the game put me in. You're gonna give me an item? Okay. Anything to change the tiers that I have right now is good enough in my books. Actually, you know what? We're not doing that poor of damage with, with uh, Soy Milk, even. Like, our, our tears are still hidden with a decent punch, as you can see. At least I think you can see here. I can't complain about this too much. Big Fan will also chew enemies the F up. And we're very unlikely to get a hit because of Trinity Shield, as long as I, I... I need to keep my bare minimum distance, which I did not do right there, but hey. We get a lot of free damage right at the very start of a room, at, the, at least. 
Like that right there. Oh, you guys are in for a bruising. That's gotta hoit. You're dead. You are also soon to be deceased. Holy Mantle's just gone, and yeah, by the time Holy Mantle's gone, we've killed almost all the enemies in the room. We do have to pay pretty close attention to Holy Mantle. You know, make sure we're not using Big Fan when Holy Mantle's almost already done. Honestly, this was a this was not getting carried on the chest, but it is an extremely fun assortment of uh, of items. Soy milk is just ridiculous, and then uh, Big Fan is actually a great choice for us. It's actually being extremely helpful, and I value it highly. Alright, so there goes, uh... There goes Holy Mantle. I don't really care if we take a little damage, because, again, it might give us an actual damage bonus, strangely enough. That might be a little overkill, but we'll find out sooner or later... ...whether or not we actually do get the damage bonus from Samson's Lock. My assumption is that we do. At the very least, it's kind of like the Tick, you know? We, we get a little, you know damage off of the enemy as soon as we start. Now, we don't get the life steal, but we also probably don't need the life steal. And the damage is not awful. Oh, not options there. Thank you. Just resume game. Gotta figure out what driver issue is causing that. It's pretty annoying. So we're gonna go all the way back here just to reroll one item. Can't believe that was, uh... Oh, that was dumb. Is our damage getting better as a result? I certainly hope so. Infestation gets rerolled into number one, which, let's be honest, at this point, has just got to be goddamn ridiculous. Now our range is terrible. Okay, you should not be taking two hits on that room every time you enter. That's just embarrassing. Watch out for that. Okay, we are taking a little bit more damage than I'd like to admit now. That being said, we're also in a position where... Um, we, uh, we have 14 bombs and pyro, so we basically have 14 high damage HP uh, revitalizers just kind of sitting in the wings right now, so uh, I'm not overly concerned about our chances. In hindsight, though, I did probably take some items that nerfed us a little bit here. Not going to get rid of Samson's Lock because I've doubled down on it already. Let's try not to take damage on our way in here for once. It's uh, yet another non-boss room area, another dead end-ish area up here. We, get, we lost Holy Mantle, that's okay. We got hit, that's less okay. Don't lose the streak, the streak matters, man. The, the streak is real, okay. This is where you, yeah, hit him where it hurts there. Don't walk into him. You, I'm not, not locked in here with, in, buh, 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 buh. I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in here with me. Hagalaz, it doesn't do anything, but there's no rocks on these rooms anyway, so who cares, basically. Thank you for the spirit heart. It is much appreciated. As much as I would like to use the bombs offensively, it might just be in our best interest to use them safely. These guys are like our ideal enemies right now. Annoying, but not so annoying that I need to worry, and please just give me like a chest drop or something. probably take that. Another example of how Northern Lion sometimes almost ruins runs, just, you know, going for strange oddities. Not to be confused with space oddity, an artistic work of some actual merit. Again, with Trinity Shield kind of pointed outwards, I'm not too worried about these bullets. I can't tell if our damage is better or if the husk is just shitty or both, because one of those is definitely true. All right, well, you're definitely gonna give a Spirit Heart if I kill you last, but you're also very easy to kill first. All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't we just start this off by uh, healing ourselves back to full, and then we can use the rest of our bombs offensively if we so choose. That's one way to enter. Again, as long as uh, we have Trinity Shield out here, we should be like pretty much 100% safe right here. Weirdly enough, the safest place is actually kind of right next to him. The flies are going to be a little bit of a different story, admittedly. They're going to circle around. They're going to do some damage to me, but we're still doing a lot of damage with Big Fan. Throw some bombs down. Uh, heal ourselves in the process here. It's a very strange way to, to handle a blue baby fight. I would not, uh, I would not deny that. But it seems to be working out pretty well. 
Well, there's more than one way to eat a Reese's, and here we are. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that run in spite of its strangeness. I'll see you next time. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.